1973. Keith started just down the road. I went back and had a look at some market statistics and in 1973 the overall market size in Australia was just 500,000 vehicles. Last year it was just under 1 million. In 1973 Toyota sold just under 50,000 vehicles for a market share of 9%. So over that 35 years we've grown to over 200,000 and a share of 21%. And that's been done through people like the Harrison family who have committed their lives to the automotive business and specifically to Toyota. You know, I started my uh, profession as a uh, motor mechanic apprentice, went up from there. There was Keith, a salesman, uh, two mechanics and a bookkeeper. First year I think we budgeted to do about uh, 24 cars, but we ended up doing about 70 or 80. Keith, um, he um, always had ambition and um, yeah, it's always been there and, and probably until now. As I said, I've learned from the ground up and that's why I've sort of tried to keep my feet on the ground pretty well. One thing working in family is I know that I've got to support the family, the business, and it's not a free reign. Dad, will, when I was doing things wrong, would say so. And I really probably sometimes got a little bit um, upset about it, but when I thought about it later on, he was right about what he said and has taught me so much over the years that you know, you've got to take criticism and make it constructive criticism. We Toyota Australia do not retail automotive vehicles, parts or provide service. We are wholesalers of cars and we are wholesalers of parts. The lifeblood of our franchise are families like the Harrison family, Grant, Keith and Joan. Because they with their staff are the people who on a daily basis interact with the customer to give them an experience which will bring them back again, will enable people to talk about the service they've received and hopefully retain the existing customers that they have, but just as importantly, bring new customers to the brand. I really just grant following Dad's footsteps, if, if you like, and hopefully improved in a few areas. But Dad has always been involved here in the town, born and grown in the town. He uh, was a mechanic himself originally, played sport here locally. So an evolution of the business growing with the assistance of Toyota, he managed to start to um, communicate a lot more, help personally and physically these local clubs to a point where it was sponsorships. And from that point of view, obviously if we're spending money, we need to try and return that somehow. So we sometimes put like um, sponsorship arrangements by every time a person bought a car, we then donated money back to those particular clubs. And word of mouth is, is, is a great form of sponsorship for us as well. Yeah, you know, I've enjoyed a lot of it, you know, uh, involvement with local football clubs, golf clubs, and going and have a couple of beers at the hotel and that type of thing occasionally, but that's, you know, all sort of quiet. But in my younger day, yeah, it was pretty full on, almost, what do they say nowadays, 24-7? Mm. That's a new catchphrase, but um, yeah, it was a, but rewarding. Did you climb in the back? Step in the back. A Toyota dealership that only takes from the community will get the success that it deserves. A Toyota dealership that is a vital and integral part of the community and a giver to the community will also get the success it deserves. I think that's very much the case at Melton Toyota. We're not here to try and sell people a car. We're here really just to show them the car, let them feel it, touch it, put them in the seat. We've been lucky or good, we've got some very good managers here, parts managers, service managers, service advisors, and you know, so it's, um, and that makes it, it's just like, you can relax a bit. Always remember your staff, because they have great facilities. The staff are really what your facilities are, not just this big building. If I've got dodos here working with me, we're going to be a dodo dealership. So I'm very fortunate we've got a very good service manager, a parts manager, sales manager, business manager for us. So they're really the guys that help make this business tick. Six people with over 20 years service. People are the lifeblood of the business. And people who strive together on a daily basis as a team to achieve the goals and objectives set for them in the business, there's a great deal of satisfaction that can be derived from that. And that satisfaction those years of service and the passion that comes with working for an organisation for that period of time, I think, rubs off onto the customer base. Repeat customers. Sell them a car once, we want them coming back for service, tell their friends, their family, and that's how our business has grown over the years from 
Years ago, Dad employed, I think, four or five people in this business started. Today, I'm employing 48. On a business front, we're here to talk about these new state-of-the-art facilities. Tonight, I want you to walk out to the back, have a look at our workshops, have a look at the hoist conditions. You can see our technicians working out in the workshop and uh, see your cars being serviced. We've also got a waiting lounge in there with a plasma screen that you can sit down and just watch a movie, catch up with the early morning news. Or if you need to do some business, we've got a customer waiting lounge there, business centre, that has a wireless laptop. So you can bring your PCs in and work from Melton Toyota at your office. So I think that hopefully will be able to be a step up from where we've been over the last 30 years. Yeah, so it's been a, a pretty uh, growing issue up until we got to a stage where um, really our old place, we couldn't move, uh, we're cramped. I still want them to go away, have their retirement, knowing that it's in safe hands, but I still need to have Dad around the place just to wander in and say hello and how's everything going, speak to the managers. He's worked really hard over the years. It's his time to go and have a bit of time off. Let's congratulate the this is the dealership that Trade Australia is justifiably proud of. Investments of this nature are very, very large. And private entrepreneurs that make those investments are held in very high esteem with our company. <laughs>